Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new vlog. It is currently Saturday and I'm about to make some lunch for me and a friend of mine. She is coming over in a little bit and she's gonna see the new place. We have also gone into like a mini second lockdown here in Germany. So all restaurants and cafes are closed. You can still do takeaway, but you can't actually go there and sit. So yeah, she's gonna come over here. We're gonna catch up, have lunch. And I'm actually here alone this weekend. Mo is visiting his family so I thought it would be fun to vlog and just take you guys along with me for the weekend we'll hang out I do have an appointment and some errands that I have to run later this afternoon and then I want to show you guys some apartment updates and some little things that I've gotten that I'm so excited about okay so for lunch today I'm gonna to be making us some salmon with roasted veggies I've got broccoli here Brussels sprouts I'm also gonna put in some onion I'm gonna bake all of this in the oven and I'm making quite a big portion of the veggies so that I have some for dinner later and here I'm preparing some brown rice by the way here on the salmon I've topped it with some olive oil some tamari sauce oregano onion and garlic powder black pepper and salt so I'm gonna pop this in the oven and then prepare the other veggies get everything in it is currently heating up now a little bit later I am back home I actually had to go and change our tires from summer tires to winter tires and then I had some little errands to run I went grocery shopping we now have a proper fridge like a nice big fridge so that is always really exciting now see so yeah, I've just been relaxing a little bit at home and I think I'm actually gonna get into a bath I got some really amazing bath salts that smell so good they are like lavender and chamomile scented it's like a bedtime kind of blend and they are so good I had a bath last night. This is actually the first day where it's been quite relaxing at home and I've also been by myself so it's been really calm and quiet. I do miss Mo but it is nice to just have some time by yourself sometimes and the last few weeks have obviously been so busy with moving and the company we're now live on cult beauty by the way by the time you guys see this we would already have been live for about a week or two but yeah we've been pretty busy the last few weeks so it's been really nice to just chill out a little bit and do nothing <laughs> so yeah i just wanted to check in with you guys and if i do end up having a bath later i will show you guys what it looks like maybe you guys can get a little bit of a calm and zen through the screen <laughs> as i am in my bath
good morning guys it is the next day and i slept so well it might have been the bath or i think it was a little bit of the bath but also i was just very tired last night and i slept so well i feel so rested and the sun is out today so i definitely want to get outside a little bit later the weather's actually been really really great the last few days so i'm really excited about that but first i want to show you guys a few exciting apartment updates starting with our living room okay so this is what our living room looks like right now i'm really really happy with this but we do have a new couch that is going to be delivered in a few weeks but we did just receive our new coffee table and i'm so so in love with this it is so beautiful it is a white marble coffee table and it is real marble so this top plate here is really really heavy and this by the way we got from west wing and this sofa is also from west wing and the new one that we got is also going to be from west wing but anyway i am very very happy with this table we just have this coffee table book on it right now mo actually found this and i think it is very very pretty and then over here we've got some incense we've been burning these and they honestly smell so incredible that is the brand and then here we've got some coasters these are just silicone coasters in this nice like light beige soft gray color and then underneath are some matches for the incense and then for probably the most exciting update is our new tree. So this is a fiddle leaf fig tree and it is so stunning. I actually just posted about this on my Instagram stories and a lot of you were asking if it's real, where we bought it. And yes, it is real. And we got it from a local plant store and we also got the basket that it was displayed in and we've put it here behind our sofa because the lighting here in this spot is actually perfect for this type of plant and because it's quite tall as well it just really fills out the space perfectly and I just I love this kind of like Mediterranean you know like cool and relaxed feel that this plant gives and you guys probably know I'm absolutely obsessed with having plants at home they just bring a really good energy to the home and they also recycle the air plus of course they're just absolutely stunning and they just bring so much life to a space I actually took a course recently on how to properly take care of my plants because I want to be a good plant mom I don't want to kill my plants and this one in particular since it is so special and I've never had a plant like this before so I definitely wanted to make sure that I'm doing everything I can to make sure that it stays healthy and happy and just keeps thriving and being so beautiful the course that I took is from Christopher Griffin he is a plant expert and it is called plants at home uplift your spirit and your space and I found this course on Skillshare and this was so insightful I learned things like where to properly place your plant for optimal light for that specific plant and something that I did didn't know is that plants can actually get sunburned so they need light but they shouldn't be in too much direct light so here in this corner we actually have these shades here so right now it's quite sunny and the light would normally be pouring in from this way I don't know if I would have thought about that before that it shouldn't be in super direct light so now I've put the shades down like halfway on this window and we are also putting curtains in here like soft uh, light white curtains so those are gonna diffuse the light really nicely for the plants as well I also learned about how to set up a good plant care routine because different plants need different amounts of water and care and I also got this little mister from Amazon and this is something that I also wasn't doing before the course and I found that it's actually really important to mist the leaves from time to time and also to clean the leaves with a dampened cloth to remove any dust buildup because the leaves are where the photo synthesis happens and that is how the plant feeds itself and if there is lots of dust on the leaves then they can't do that process as efficiently and the plant doesn't get as much nutrition so if you guys have plants at home as well or if you want to get new plants and you want to learn how to properly take care of them I would highly highly recommend this course and in case you guys haven't heard of Skillshare they are an online learning community with thousands of different classes you can explore new skills or
or develop existing interests and just get lost in creativity. I've been a member on Skillshare for the last few years and I've taken classes in all different types of topics like productivity, entrepreneurship, photography. They also have great courses on graphic design, on video editing, and just some general good like lifestyle type of courses. And with us all staying home these days, it's really nice to have something productive and positive to do with our time and learning and developing new skills is always a great positive thing to do and I feel like it's really good for our self-confidence as well and another course that I would highly recommend is from Nathaniel Drew it's called creativity unleashed and this is all about discovering your voice and sharing it online in a positive and impactful way you can apply what he teaches to any creative endeavor whether that is starting a YouTube channel or even writing a book or just having any presence where you use your voice for social good I really really enjoyed this course so I would recommend that one as well and the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description box down below will get a free trial of Skillshare premium membership and after that it's only about $10 a month I will make sure to have the link for that below in the description box and also the names of the courses that I recently took again I would highly highly recommend them and they brought me a lot of value so I hope they will do the same for you I also have a few little kitchen updates that I want to share with you guys starting out with this sink area so I ordered some soaps I got these ones from Molten Brown they are the orange and bergamot scented hand wash and hand lotion they smell really really good and I love the color of them as well I think they go really well here and then this over here this is a soap dispenser and I put our dish soap in here because the dish soap container is not the nicest it's green and kind of bulky and not the prettiest so I got this really nice white one from Amazon I love the chrome and the white and then I just put them on this little plate this is from Muji I have a few of these because I used to use these in our bathroom cabinet for some of our little products so I've now just put it here and I think the space looks a lot better than just having like random looking products and then over here we have this little uh, suction cup basket for this wipe and also for our sponge I really like how it's kind of hidden in our sink as opposed to being right there plus of course as they are wet they just drain easily at the bottom and it's nothing that you need to you know like drill into your sink or anything it's just with the suction cup and this I also got from Amazon so I will have it linked and then another thing I got from Amazon Amazon has just been my best friend <laughs> the last few weeks it is just the best place to get little things like this but yeah I got this really nice drying rack again in this silver chrome finish and I just put a little dish towel underneath I always find these really practical for you know small things that you just want to rinse and don't necessarily need to put in the dishwasher these for olive oil have also been really really helpful so basically whenever I use olive oil the bottle always gets really oily on the side because it kind of spills but this one does not allow that to happen because it has a really great little spout here and you just press on this and it closes it completely so you're not gonna get any spills which is amazing and then this is a spray for olive oil I know in the States you can already buy olive oil spray you know just at the supermarket but they don't do that here so I got this spray bottle and it is so great I mostly use this for our frying pan and it just distributes the olive oil evenly you don't have to use so much so these have been really helpful and again they are from Amazon and for the moment I'm keeping my olive oil here in this bottom drawer I also keep my onions here for the moment because onions they actually keep longer when they're not in direct light so I keep them here and this little spray bottle will go here too I have our cutting boards here I can also show you this drawer right here this is where I'm keeping our spices and I actually really like this spot for the spices because it's really easy when I'm cooking to just have it like right here on the side I have them in these little glass jars and I just put labels on top 
so that I can see what everything is. So I really, really love this setup and it's just really easy to see everything. And then in this middle drawer, I have all of our teas and little coffee pods. I eventually want to get more of these clear containers and just find a way to make them all fit perfectly because right now, four of them is a bit too tight. So I'm still figuring that out. But this is what it looks like for the moment. We've got our matcha here and this piece is for our coffee machine. It's where we steam the milk. So I really like this drawer. It's our tea and coffee drawer. But once I get this completely sorted, I will show it to you guys again. Some other things I can show you guys are this set of drawers. So this is right under our stove. And over here, I've got my lids. And then in this one, I've got my pens and some cooking spoons. And then in this bottom one, we have our larger pots and some sieves. I did just order a white one from Zara Home, which is so cute. It's a little bit smaller than this one. So I'll show you guys that once it arrives. But I really, really love having all of my pots and pens right under the stove again when it came to knowing where to put everything in this kitchen I just want to make it as practical and efficient as possible so I kept all of the cooking things here our spices here tea and coffee things because that is right there and then like olive oil and onions and things like that there so yeah the kitchen is coming together and it's so exciting I literally just love being here and spending time organizing and just you know seeing what works best i will eventually do a whole video where i take you through all the parts of our kitchen and all the drawers and the cupboards and cabinets and all of that yeah i'm just super super grateful for this space and i want to share it with you guys as much as i can and now i am going to make some lunch and then i'm definitely going to head out on a walk the weather is absolutely gorgeous and as i mentioned it's been really gray and cold so i'm definitely going to get outside and i will catch up with you guys when i'm back guys it is monday morning and i have just gotten in the car i'm gonna go meet a friend of mine and we're gonna go for a walk but before that i have to go to like a kitchen kind of household type of store i want to find some clear acrylic um, dividers for the tea in our kitchen and hopefully find some that fit perfectly in that little space and mo gets back later today so i'm gonna pick him up at the train station and i wanted to tell you guys i am starting the melissa wood health two-week challenge today is the first day and it runs for 14 days and basically it is 20 minutes of pilates and yoga and then a 10 minute meditation after that and it's like a challenge so we're all doing the same thing and there's schedule on her app with specific workouts and specific meditations and i love it so yeah this morning it was a 20 minute pilates power series so it's a little bit more upbeat and then we did a 15 minute align and anchor meditation and it was so good I really really love her workouts and I would highly recommend them if you guys haven't tried them already so now I feel really really great and then I did some work as well this morning I also just stripped our bed put the bed sheets in the washing machine so we're gonna have nice fresh sheets tonight which I always look forward to so I'm gonna get going i hope i'm gonna find what i need and i will show you guys if i do and i'll catch up with you guys a little bit later
Hi guys, it is now a little bit later. I was not successful with the tea organizers. I'm gonna check on Amazon for that. Anyway, I am outside of the train station. I am waiting for Mo. I'm so excited to see him. So I'm gonna end off this vlog right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed. I hope that you're all having a nice day and I will see you in my next one. There he is. <laughs> Bye baby.